everyone, so nice to see you here again on my channel. Today we will talk about the business casual dress code and look at another Wonder Wardrobe example for work. Depending on the industry, size of the company, number of employees, geography, climate, culture, the definition of the business casual dress code may vary. But in general, the business casual dress code means that you have to look professional and business-like, but still informal. And here most of the people get confused about what's actually business-like and office-appropriate and what might be too casual. So let's see some examples and clear out whatever confusion you might have. The business casual dress code allows you to wear formal or casual blouses, shirts, sweaters, tops with sleeves, polo shirts and turtlenecks. You can still choose interesting prints or colors, but don't go with the ones that obviously don't fit the office environment. You can also wear tops with an interesting design, but then keep the rest of your outfit more classic and formal. Your sweaters should also have more of a classic look, maybe with a stylish twist if you wish. Thick and heavy sweaters, hoodies and sweatshirts are all on the casual side and are not acceptable in the business environment. Another inappropriate attire for business casual dress code includes tops that are too tight, oversized or see-through, tank tops, tops with bare shoulders, shirts with potentially offensive words, logos, cartoons or slogans, and t-shirts unless worn under a jacket or a cardigan. You can choose pencil skirts, wraparound skirts, ruffled skirts, skirts with slits or without. Just keep in mind that your skirt or dress shouldn't be too short, too long, too tight or see-through. It shouldn't be too dressed up, meaning no sequins, lace or glossy materials. Also, denim skirts or dresses, sundresses, off-shoulder, one-shoulder or sleeveless and spaghetti strap dresses are not acceptable for this dress code. If you have to follow a business casual dress code, you can choose to wear different styles of pants. Straight, wide, pack top, flared, long or cropped, cotton, wool, linen. The only thing I would recommend is to choose basic or darker colors. For example, the orange pants from the previous video's capsule will not fit for business casual. They are way too bright for it. Also, avoid any active prints like florals, dots or paisley, they look too casual, as well as any sweatpants, track pants, leggings, shorts, cargo, pyjama or silk pants. In general, the business casual dress code does not allow jeans, but if you can wear them, choose basic colors like dark blue, grey or black. Try to choose a blazer or a jacket that have classic and formal design, but in formal fabric. The color doesn't have to be formal neither, you can go with something more colorful and interesting. As for the shape, it can be slim or slightly loose, but it should definitely stand clear of fashion fads. So no big 80s shoulders that are on trend right now, it might look cool on Instagram, but in the office it looks just weird. Denim jackets, kimonos, bomber jackets are also too casual for this dress code, so leave them for your free time. Mostly any type of footwear is allowed in the business casual dress code, so it's easier to say which ones are not. And those will be anything too casual and relaxed like flip-flops, slippers, running shoes or sandals. Or pairs that are too fancy for the office, like vernier shoes, snake skin, leopard pattern, bright red shoes over-the-knee boots and so on. The shape of your bag might give different impressions on your personality. For example, hard geometric shapes look much more formal and send the signal that you are organized and professional. On the contrary, bags that have no shape and look more like black holes will give the impression that you might be chaotic and disorganized. As for the colors, it's better to choose neutral or dark deep colors that fit well to the color palette of your wardrobe.
today I'll try to create an interchangeable wardrobe for autumn. I will include two dresses, five tops, four bottoms that hopefully in the end will result in 22 beautiful outfits suitable for the business casual dress code. I will also add two jackets, two pairs of shoes and a bag that should go perfectly with everything else. My color palette this time consists of cold and mostly dark colors. It looks so formal, don't you think? I'm just trying this time to keep the color palette calm and quite conservative, so I can afford to concentrate more on design rather than color. I'm so excited about this capsule, so I guess I'm just going to start searching right now. Wish me luck! Here's the capsule wardrobe I have just made. It includes 5 tops, 4 bottoms, 2 dresses, 2 jackets, 2 pairs of shoes and a bag. And when I mix all these pieces together, I will get 22 fully interchangeable outfits that are perfect for the business casual dress code. This time dresses are both statements and have beautiful designs, don't you think? I also included a pair of jeans just to show you how you can style them for this dress code so it doesn't look too casual. There are two jackets that have different shape, fit, length and color, although both of them go very well with every outfit. I hope you can see there aren't any outfits here that look too formal or too casual. I tried my best to create looks that will be somewhere in the middle and reflect the balance between professional, comfortable and personal. See, business casual dress code doesn't have to be basic or boring, you still have space for fashion experiments. So don't be afraid to incorporate your own style into your work wardrobe and show a little bit of your personality. You should like what you wear because when you do, you immediately feel more comfortable, confident and powerful. And your colleagues will notice that change in you. That's it, I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. Let me know what you think in the comments below, let's chat. Next time we will talk about the formal business dress code and look at another Wonder Wardrobe example. So if you like this idea, please press like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, see you next time.